Hello everyone, this is Parita here and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here in uh, Lagos, Portugal. How I booked buses, cabs and flights at what cost everything is here. Uber because there were no cabs on free cab app and uh, the cost was somewhere around 13 euros but um, god knows what happened i put some either either terminal one or i had to go to terminal two so he charged some seven euros extra on top of that to take us to that terminal he dropped us here and kunal and the driver spoke a lot about football on the way it was around 30 minutes journey from my hostel Barcelona BCN go it is always better to come three hours earlier instead of two hours which is the time because of this massive queue that you just saw and there is human resource shortage in Europe so they don't open counters it is better to reach prior this is how Barcelona airport looks plenty of options to eat but Spain has not been good to me when it comes to vegetarian so food. So I have to check the flight details here because the gate number B is huge. I asked a lady there and she told me that it's here because all the screens have some sort of advertisement and not the flight details. The number of gate B was going to be out just two hours before the flight or one and a half hours before. So you had to keep your eyes glued to the screen all the time in case you need to run to, towards your gate. jeans you can see 135 euros for a pair of jeans in Europe which is we flew Vueling Air and we had booked our tickets in the month of January or February for our trip in April and uh, that's why we got Barcelona Lisbon for 1500 rupees one way per person if there is seven kilos of luggage but we had more luggage, so we spent somewhere around four to five thousand per person one way with the luggage of 15 to 20 kilos. Vueling Air is going to be a little strict about the size of the bags, but there was nobody checking the size and weight of the cabin bag. Obviously, the check in bag, the weight was being checked along with your passport and visa details. Keep your passport handy while you are at the airport along with the boarding pass as well. Our flight was at 12 noon and we landed at uh, 2 or 3 p.m. at Lisbon. Portugal is an hour ahead of Spain. So considering the time difference, it took two hours for us to land there. And uh, once we landed, we hired a cab from the line itself instead of booking an Uber, which was a mistake because on the meter it was six euros but the driver was demanding 13 euros which is double the price and he did not speak any english he spoke only portuguese so it became very difficult for us to speak to him luckily where we were parked there was a very tiny lane so because he was parked there and because we were taking time in finding the money uh, he, we created a traffic jam and they were hawking. So basically, we just paid uh, uh, 10 euros and got away with it. We reached Honest Greens before reaching our uh, bus stop around 3 p.m. to eat and fill our stomachs because we had not eaten anything the entire day apart from little breakfast at a hostel. This salad bowl was around 10 euros with a kombucha drink for 2 euros and you could get an unlimited refill of various flavors or sparkling water or plain water. I worked here for some time and we killed around 4 hours before heading to a bus stop at uh, Gare Oriente in Portugal which was just a kilometer away. This time we used Bolt. Uh, cab app and it took only four euros that's it so we were happy that 
पोर्चुगल इज़ लिटिल चीपर कम्पेयर टू स्पेन एंड द कैब ड्राइवर वॉज पंजाबी इंडियन he gave us these tips and tricks of what to do what not to do very important thing just book bolt or uber when you are at the airport do not take the taxis which are lined up outside the airport cab driver told us that there are two gear oriented bus stops here so cross check with somebody at the bus stop that you are at the right bus stop from somebody in the staff or the taxi driver if they speak your language after a horrible experience in spain we were very lucky that we came across this amazing gentleman here from the staff who showed us where our bus platform is where the bus is going to depart which is right behind this bus and we were very grateful to him he spoke to us in english and not portuguese 48 e is the platform from where our bus was going to depart and he suggested uh, that we look on this screen constantly just in case the platform number or time changes but it didn't there is also an office here where uh, we could have preponed our bus with an extra 12 euros but obviously we didn't there is an elevator here which takes you to the washroom underground you can request the staff at the office to refill your bottle but there is no water refillable station here or you can buy it from here we booked our tickets on the omeo app and a soft copy of the ticket worked really well to show it to the driver he scanned the qr code and we were in the bus was at uh, 8 pm but because we missed our bus uh, in barcelona for andorra we were really scared and that's why we just reached like 3 to 4 hours prior to avoid any possible mistakes or reasons uh, wrong bus stop wrong bus or whatever there's a canteen here as well for you to buy beverages and snacks we got in the bus and sat at our designated places the bus was going to take 4 hours but it took 5 hours and we reached lagos at 11:30 or 12 midnight um just we were lucky that our hotel tivoli was only 300 meters from our bus stop because it was really silent and there was not even a single soul whom we could ask around for directions google maps help helped us and we reached our hotel stay tuned for my next lagos series i would not uh, advise this unless and until you have a lot of time and more number of days here in lisbon because it will get a little hectic we decided to come to uh, lagos because kunal wanted to scuba dive here of course coming to uh, coming to europe and not scuba diving it would not make sense however when we spoke to a few friends who are scuba diving instructors they mentioned that uh, usually europeans uh, prefer tropical climate and that's why they come to asia to scuba dive but of course i'm sure this would be a new marine life and uh, a different experience altogether so he has gone for scuba diving right now and i'll let you know what he what his experience was shortly I hope you guys have found this video informative. If you have, then share this with your friends and family who are planning a trip to Portugal or probably Lagos, so that this makes things easier for them to plan. And also, I am headed to a lot more cities and lot more countries in the near future. For that, you'll have to hit the subscribe button to be updated about all this information, which is difficult to get by. So do do that right now.